Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back with some more Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles with a brand new team. It's actually a Sun team. If you guys missed the last few Wi-Fi battles, I actually put up a community poll and let you guys vote for the next theme of the singles team that we make in-game. And you guys would actually a tie between actually an Evolutions team and a Sun team. So first of all, I'm going to make a Sun team, which is this one. And then I'm going to actually have an Evolutions team on the way within the next week or two. It's going to take a lot longer to make that team because it's a lot more difficult to get that stuff in game and get everything in game. So, But as of now, i got the Sun team. It's a brand new team. Some really cool stuff. Scarf Charizard. Uh, we got Offensive, just like Sun Setting Torkoal for a Sun team. Kind of a no-brainer. Life Orb, Slither Wing. Really, really cool. Specs Flutter Main with Protosynthesis. Uh, Heat Rock, Sunny Day. Uh, Sableye with Prankster, and then we got Sword Stance, Leaf Blade, Baton Pass, uh, Miracle Seed, Leafeon, which is really cool with the Chlorophyll. My opponent is a really threatening team. Dragonite, Screamtail, uh, Chen Pao, Mewtwo, Galarian, Slowbro, and uh, Iron Valiant. So, I'm going to the Sableye here before the timer ticks me down. And uh, hopefully we can get into that. This team really isn't that bulky either. So, like, I don't have, like, any walls or anything on this team. I think the most bulky thing is probably the Torkoal to take maybe one or two hits if I need to, if it's resisted or something. But it's kind of a full-out, like, sun offense team on this squad. So I was also going to use Walking Wake on this team, but I, I kind of used Walking Wake and VGC a little while back, and I kind of want to use some other different stuff. But otherwise, I would have threw Walking Wake on this team as well. But... Leads with this thing. I don't know if this thing. I don't even know what this thing does. I don't even know what Glarian Sloking does, but uh, gonna go for a fake out and see what that does. See if he's actually leftovers, or maybe get some info on what item he is. If he's a Rocky Helmet or whatever, he's leftovers. So this turn was pretty much irrelevant because it, like, he got all his health back. So I'm gonna get the sun up. I am Heat Rock, and then I'm gonna go for a knockoff to get rid of leftovers, and then maybe try to swap out into something. I don't know what this thing actually does. Like that, I, I guess it's nasty plot. Okay. I, like I said, I don't know what this thing even does because it's the first time I've went against this thing. I've seen it in VGC a few times, but not in singles as of now. So I don't know. I'm just gonna knock off, get rid of the item on this thing. It does half? That does a lot of damage. Way more than I thought it was going to do. He has flamethrower in the sun at plus two. That almost kills me. I do outspeed him though. I think I just knock off again. Let's see how much that does. He might, we'll see if he has slack off. He might have flamethrower, probably like a water move, maybe a poison move. I think this thing's a poison type, actually. This goes to show you like how much I don't know about this thing because I never really play against it, so I'm not even sure what type it is. If he swaps here too, I get a knock off on something, so it's great. Great for me, I'm just trying to sack this thing. Get a knockoff on the Chin Pao, break its possible focus sash, that's fine. Choice Banded Chin Pao, okay, that's scary. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak here. Get some chip damage, I'm just trying to sack the Sableye. That's all it really is, it's just to mainly get chip damage. Maybe get a knockoff on something if it's really slow and let's get the sun up mainly and just go down for something else to come in and start putting in work. It's kind of what it is on this team, unfortunately. Oh, he has this thing. I actually go into this. He has nothing that really wants to take a, a life orb first impression. I am adamant max attack, max speed on this thing. I'm actually running max speed because this thing is meant to outspeed. I think it's like base 82 or something. It's a base 80 something speed, so... Being max speed gives me more of like a middle line speed range for this team, which I kind of wanted. First time really using uh, Slitherwing as well. I haven't really used Slitherwing up until this point, so Let's see what else he has. He has nothing that really wants to tank. A... He has nothing that wants to take a, a first impression, I guess, apart from the Dragonite, so I go for that here. It should kill him. Unless he goes into the Dragonite, then I break the multi skill. Screamtail? Oh, you're not going to want to take this very well, bro. You ain't gonna take this very well. He's actually speed. He actually has speed on a, on his Screamtail. So he's not bulky either. He's running actually, uh... Looks like he's actually be running like an offensive Screamtail, which is really unique. Usually if you run these, usually most of them are more like supportive. 
I really like offensive, but I want to keep this thing around. First impression versus him is really, really good, so I want to keep this thing around. I'm actually going to go into the Leafy on here. Leafy on really isn't the greatest versus his team, so I can kind of maybe sack it off, just try to get damage with it. It's not really the greatest. Actually, protects. That's great. That is great. That's huge free switch in for me. He actually has double leftovers, too. He has two mods that have leftovers on his team. I don't, if I were him, I would go out into the Dragonite, actually, but I'm just going to Leaf Blade anyways. Get a kill on this. That's great. He might actually go into the Dragonite, though. At least that's what I would do. And he'd go right out into the Dragonite. If he, if he does, I'm just going to probably throw a Leaf Seed. Because I do have Leaf Seed on this. I have Sword Sands, Leaf Seed, Baton Pass, and Leaf Blade. Unfortunate thing about Leaf Yawn is it, its move pool is pretty damn bad, unless you run like Terra, which kind of sucks about it. So you don't really have many options, unfortunately, with Leaf Yawn. It's the main thing. That's always why it's been kind of bad. A little bit better with Terra. You can run a Terra type on it now and get a little bit of value that way. But I'm scared of this thing. If it sets up, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to try to throw a Leech Seed on this thing and see what happens. If he's Terra Normal, that's good for me, though, because I have Flutter Main and he can't do anything to that if he's Terra Normal. Just depends on what Terra he is. He is Terra Normal, that's fine. That's the best one, at least for my team. I do have checks for that, which is the Flutter Main, so he can't E-Speed me. He might be Banded, too. If he's Banded E-Speed, this is going to hurt. That it, I don't know if that's Banded damage, though. I miss my Leech Seed, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I really want to keep this thing around, though. I really do. Is he going to predict a switch in, into the, the Flutter main here? Is he going to predict that? I don't know. I really want... I'm going to go into Flutter main. I'm going to do it. He might actually predict that and go for, like, Aerial Ace or something, though. He actually fire punches. That's bad. That is really bad. Our Flutter Main's really good versus him, too. I, I really want to keep this thing around. I, I really do. I want to see how much a Moonblast does, though, because I have no other switch into this thing. It doesn't do anything because of the multi-scale. I missed my damn Leech Seed, so I couldn't break the multi-scale, which sucks because of the miss. Now I lose the Flutter Main because I missed my Leech Seed. That's always great. I think my play here is going to the Torkoal. I should be able to... He's, he's not Choice Banded now, which we know. That's a good thing to know. I wish I would have knew that earlier, because otherwise I would have switched. But he's not Choice anymore. I think I just Lava Plume here, actually. I'm going to Lava Plume. He has Earthquake. I don't know how much it's actually due to me. That does over half. There's a lot of damage. Can I get a burn, please? Or just straight up kill him. Okay, that's even better, I guess. I actually don't want to kill him, though. I actually wish he would have just burned him there, because I would I really want to get my stealth rock up. Because now he gets a free switch out into either the Iron Valiant or the uh, or the Slow King. And if he, if he has the Slow King, he, he, if he has Slack off, he can just freely heal versus me, which sucks. And I really hate the Flutter Main going down. That might actually cost me. Flutter Main dropping is really bad. The Dragonite being gone, though, is good, because the... The Slitherwing late game looks really good versus him. And I, I plus I have Terra Fire Scarf Charizard, which versus his team is also still really good. Just looking at his team here. So I do have options to still win the game. It's not done. It's still a really close game. I think what I do here is actually just Lava Plume and get damage on this thing. He has Psy Strike. I mean, I have no switch in. That's the problem with this team. You kind of just have to play around and like sack stuff off and hopefully you have enough stuff to win the game. It's kind of what this team really is. He's a life orb Mewtwo. That's not good. Going to this. With the sun boost, too. Like, I am plus one with a life orb. Like, they, what does he have on his team that wants to take a plus one life orb uh, first impression? Like, he doesn't have anything. I guess maybe the Iron Valiant, if he wants to sack that off. I guess he, that's the only thing he has. 
Or the Slow King. I don't know if you're going to really want to be taking this. See how much this actually does. That is a one hit kill. It's a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, though. I do not think the crit mattered. And what this is where they're going to come down to is, like, how much shit he has to stack off, because... The only way I outspeed the Mewtwo, unfortunately, is with First Impression. And he has more Mons than I do right now. Okay, and he knows he outspeeds me here, so, like, he, he knows he outspeeds me. And he can kill me in one shot because he's life orb with side strike. So I'm forced to sack something again. So every single time, he's just going to try to sack something off, I think. And he has more mons than I do. Like, I have three mons. I'm about to go down to two mons. And, like, he, he's just going to sack something off every single time when I come in for a first impression. So I got to kind of try to make plays around that. I got to sack the Leafy on here. I don't really need it anyways. I, I don't know why I saw it around. I wish I would have had Flutter main because that would have been way better versus him, but... I missed the Leech Seed and I never broke the multi-scale. I think if, if the multi-scale on the Dragonite was broken, I think I probably would have killed him with a Specs Moonblast, which kind of sucks, so. I don't know. Is he going to switch out here, too? Like, I'm going to bring this thing back in again. I have the Sun still up, which is great. I don't think he's going to stay in, though. I think he's going to switch out. I think what I do here, he's going to switch. Like, he's going to go sack something else off. I think what I do here, he's going to go into the Iron Valiant. I'm going to make a, a switch or make a prediction of him either going into the Chimpow, stacking that off, or the Iron Valiant. And I'm going to U-turn out into the Charizard and go Terra Fire. And start knocking shit back with a uh, Fire Blast. I think that's what I'm going to do here. I swear, if he, if he stays in and he side strikes, like, I, I can actually lose. Holy shit. I, okay, he switches. Okay, good. Because otherwise, I'd probably lose. He's going to sack this thing off. That's fine. The bad thing here is, too, like, I, I am, uh, I think this is my last turn of Sun, actually. I think I'm, that Sun's gone, yeah, which sucks. So I don't get my free plus one boost from Solar Power, either. If you guys don't know what Solar Power is, it's pretty much like a plus one boost to your special attack. So I don't get that anymore, which kind of sucks, because I lose a lot of power. I don't know if I actually if I'll be able to actually kill the, the Mewtwo. It depends on his set. If he's fully offensive, which I think he is, it has a chance to probably kill him. If I'm Terra Fire, I should be able to outspeed the rest of his team as well, because I am Scarfed. It just comes down to, have to having to Terra Fire and then land all my Fire Blast. He's going to go into Mewtwo here. He probably thinks he outspeeds me. He doesn't know I'm Scarfed either, which I don't know if I'll actually... Ooh, he has a lot of health. I don't know if I'll actually be able to kill him here. It's going to be really close. It's going to be a really close match. It comes down to if I can actually kill him with Fire Blast here. If he lives this, I think I might lose. If I have, I have to land the Fire Blast, too. So I have to get past that first. Can we land the Fire Blast? It'll be really close. It all goes back to missing a Leech Seed. That, that Leech Seed missed is fucking crazy. That cost me a lot of this game. I land the Fire Blast. Can I kill him? Does this kill him? It doesn't. It does not. And he, he gets burned. He gets burned, though. Will that matter? What is he going for? Will I live this? He gets a critical hit. Wow. What a match this is. I mean, I think I would have lived. Isn't it, I think Side Strike is a physical move, ain't it? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Wow. Well, that sucks, because now I, I'm, I think I'm screwed, because I, I'm, I'm weak to fairy. He wins because of the crit, I think. I think the crit actually won him the game. I think the crit actually won him the game. That sucks. And he's Quark Drive, so he, he has the plus one speed boost now. I don't know. I have nothing to hit this thing for effective damage either. Like, I have to uh, hope for a first impression crit to maybe kill him. And I don't think that's possible, so... I think I'm, I lose here no matter what because of a crit. I think I would have lived there. I think if he did not crit the Charizard, I think I would have lived. 
Because I was choice scarfed and I would have probably, at least at the very least, good case scenario, I would have landed a fire blast, maybe not have killed this thing, but brought it down to like 20 or 30 percent to the point where I would have been able to kill this thing with a first impression on the next turn and then win the game. That doesn't do anything. I'm dead though. I'm dead. Yeah, it sucks. Gotta love losing games due to misses and, and random crits, y'all. I don't know. I think I played really good there, though. I just got screwed due to RNG. I'm not even gonna hold that against this team or, like, anything I did. I just got fucked by a random crit and a random leech seed miss. Really tough game. Just absolutely just shit on by the RNG. I don't know. I don't know what to really else to even say because, like, I I, don't know, I think I played really good there. I think I did everything else. Like, I made the proper play, especially that one really crazy prediction of uh, him switching out the Mewtwo and trying to sack something else off and then you turn him because even then, if you would have stayed in there, I would have lost anyways. So that was a huge play there. I was making crazy plays this match. I think I just got fucked by the random crit and the, the random leech seed miss, which kind of sucks, but... I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Can't win everything. There's always... You can't win every single match, but it was a really good game, which is... In the end, is also what really matters. It was it was a fun game. I had fun, so... And it was a really good showcase for this team. Not really what I wanted for the first match of this team, which also I have not tested this team up until this point. This is actually the first match I actually did with this team. After, like, putting it all together and getting it all ready, I have not tested it at all. So, being that I never tested this team either... It was like being the first match with this team. It didn't do too bad, so. Apart from that, I should have some, like, three, four more games with this team going up throughout the week. And, uh, if you guys want to stay tuned for that, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video, we really appreciate it. I'm going to get out of here, see you out. See everybody, and I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, everyone.